Madison has built the ye old colonial. We're grateful for Madison and the community, not just, just Madison, but everybody in the area that has come in over the years. Daddy opened the restaurant uh, originally as an uh, economy alto. And the economy alto, as some of us remember, uh, Western alto or White's alto. Uh, he opened an economy alto that uh, the business didn't perform as well as he had hoped. And in order to subsidize the business, he opened a little sandwich counter, which took off in 1954 decided to get out of the economy auto business and get directly into the restaurant business and that's when he opened uh, the restaurant as the grill and the grill operated uh, from like I say 54 until the early 60s as the grill during that time uh, daddy was selling steaks I saw an ad that uh, he sold T-bone steaks with a uh, T-bone steak, a salad, and fries for 69 cents. That one. And it was very well receptive. But you know, we're talking, what, 50, almost 60 years ago. So it, prices are a little different today. But the University of Georgia football team also got wind of this and uh, one night came over and pretty much put a stop to Daddy's uh, steak dinners uh, at 69 cents. Uh, at that time, Dean Tate was over at the university, and he made them come back and apologize for what what they had done. What they uh, they should have known better than come in and and take advantage. But uh, that that was a a positive mark because everybody has talked about it since. Uh, we, but that was back in the, like I say, early to mid uh, 50s. In the early 60s, we had a fire in the kitchen and the restaurant closed for a little while. And, and uh, when it closed, when it reopened, it reopened as a ye old colonial restaurant. And at that time, uh, some of the things changed. His sandwich counter uh, sort of disappeared and he put a cafeteria line in and started selling uh, veg meats and vegetables more than just sandwiches that he had in the past. We've had uh, Jimmy Carter through when he ran for president. Uh, Lester Maddox, he was a regular, we saw him uh, I guess before and even after he became governor, we've got the bank vault paper with old railroad money, and that's where the money came from. Ben Fortson uh, came across his money at the state capitol, and the state was going to destroy it. And so he called Daddy and asked Daddy if, if Daddy would put it to, to good use that he'd let him have it. And so Daddy, being a pack rat, told him, sure. And so he Ben Fortson brought it to Daddy, and I've got a younger brother, John. John and I uh, pasted it on the wall using, I think, something called decoupage. And that has been a, uh, I guess, a draw. People love going in the bank vault, looking at the old money. Thank you uh, for all the years and, and for all the memories. Uh, and the friendship.